and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today we're doing some inexpensive DIYs using and making Grinch decor. All right, this first one, I'm using this thrifted board. I have already sanded it down and I found some really cute window clings that are Grinch from Walmart, $1.98 for them. And I'm just gonna be using Max first because I have to say, I think he is my favorite character in the Grinch. I just think he's adorable. So he actually had to be used uh, in this first DIY. So for this, I am just painting the bottom of this board white. And then I'm gonna go to the top and just paint that in the crimson color by Waverly. Now I am using a glue stick to put Max on here, but I think Mod Podge always works way better when it comes to window clings. I also always prefer to use a white background just so you don't see so much of the glossiness. And then once you kind of put it on the background of a different color, it just kind of all shows through and it just does not look lovely. So uh, always use a white background when you're using window clings. At least that's what I recommend. Now to get this Grinch font, I did use my Cricut, but I did have to buy this font off of Etsy and I bought it a couple years ago. And then once you download it from Etsy, you do just have to upload it into Cricut Design Space. But I mean, I had to use the Grinch font. I don't think that it would look right if I didn't. And I do think this quote is actually from the new Grinch movie. So I know there is a few out, but it says, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. And I think this worked perfect with the Max window clean. I want to jump into learning some new crafts. I do want to thank Craftsy for sponsoring today's video. They're an online community of creative, like-minded makers where members can find endless inspiration, advance their skills, discover new favorite hobbies. Craftsy offers over 2,000 inspiring classes for makers of all skill levels with step-by-step -step instructions and more than 20 categories such as knitting, cooking, painting, and my favorite is arts and crafts. With over 2,000 classes, there's always something new to learn, and I was really intrigued by learning how to do macrame, so I was really intrigued and into these videos. I love doing new arts and crafts, so I thought this would be perfect. I did end up going to Dollar Tree for some macrame cord just because I didn't want to mess it up and I didn't want to buy a ton of stuff in case. But honestly, these step-by-step -step tutorials made it so much easier. And Craftsy is always creating new classes that keep you coming back for more. Craftsy teaches through instructional videos that are taught by friendly experts. And as a member, you'll have access to Craftsy's live streaming tutorials where expert instructors share their tips, answer your questions, and engage with Craftsy community in real time. And the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a full year of premium membership to Craftsy for only $1.49. Now this is for only new members only, but if you guys want to check it out, I will leave a link in the description box below. For this DIY, I'm using a, another thrifted board. And like I said, I already sanded them down, but I love picking up boards between 25 cents and a dollar from yard sales or even Goodwill. I'm using the same window clean sheet. Like I said, these were $1.98. And of course I had to use the Grinch on here. So I painted it white. And then now I'm just using, of course, my glue stick to add the Grinch to the sign. I ended up finding these really cute strands of lights in the craft section from Hobby Lobby. Obviously, the whole thing is a craft section, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, the Christmas section, I suppose. Uh, but I think it's like a craft section. There's like decorations, and so it is technically a craft section. And I just cut some of them off the strand and just glued them to the tree. And then I also added some, like they were falling off the tree because the Grinch stole Christmas. He stole the Christmas tree, and I just thought that was a really fun touch to this sign. I 
I also went ahead and added some of those lights to the corner and I just glued them on the back side. And yes, the back side is not clean. It doesn't look the greatest, but I don't think anyone is going to be moving my signs at home. Then I went ahead and went to my Cricut for some obviously some more Grinch writing. And I thought that I would just do I am the Grinch that stole Christmas. And of course I had to add that Grinch in red just for a little bit more of a pop of color. next DIY I am using another thrifted sign and this is what most of my signs look like in the garage they are already sanded down and ready to go and then I just lose interest and I don't want to make anything or don't really know what to make I'm gonna be painting this one white because obviously we're gonna be using some more window clings these ones are also from Walmart for $1.98 now I feel like Window clings used to always be 99 cents, and I think some of them still are, unless you want the fun character ones, which, I mean, the Grinch is fun. So I did make this sign go sideways, and I'm going to use Max and the Grinch, and I, I found these little brass handles. These are from the Dollar Tree, and I put them on each side so I could make a really cute tray, and I kind of just wanted to see where the window clings were going to go, so I did want to put the little knobs there or the little handles there uh, before I started gluing everything down. Of course, I am using a glue stick for the window clings, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my hot glue gun for the handles. And obviously, if you want them to stay a lot longer, uh, you would go ahead and use something stronger like E6000 glue. And although words on Christmas decor are not always my favorite, they can be at times, but I mean, when I'm making Grinch decor, I can't help but want to quote almost everything from the Grinch. So you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. This is a thrifted vase that I got for 25 cents from a yard sale. And I went ahead and painted it green. This is like a lime green color by Waverly Chalk Paint. And the more I painted, it just kind of started wiping off. And this is why I love spray painting, but tis the season to not be spray painting. So I went with option B and I went ahead and used one of these Grinch faces. Now these stickers are off of Amazon and I bought them a year or so ago. I'll link them down below for you guys, but they are so fun to use and it's just so easy to have a Grinch face, especially when you don't have a Cricut. I just found some of this garland from Dollar Tree and I just shoved it right in with some twinkly lights. And this is how it looks. I think this turned out so good and it took no time at all except to uh, wash the paint off of the vase. could not do a video without using one of the Dollar Tree crates. I'm going to go ahead and paint this green. I, off the top of my head, do not know what color this is, but I think it is the only lime green that Waverly Chalk Paint sells, and I think it is a pretty close Grinch color. So once that was done painting, I wanted to use another one of those Grinch stickers, and like I said, these really come in handy, so I'm going to be using three of these in this video. I've also done a Grinch video in the past, and I can link it down for you guys 
if you want to check that as well for some different ideas. So I had some of this ribbon left over from our recent mystery box video and I'm actually glad I had some ribbon because this is honestly the only Christmas ribbon that I have in on hand. So I just glued a piece down to the crate and then I just made a really fun bow by just cutting a a bunch of pieces of ribbon and just kind of fluffing them out. Uh, I also added some berries to this and I just think this is super cute. DIY. I'm using this cutting board. This is from Hobby Lobby and usually they're half off. So they're about a dollar 25 ish uh, a piece for these cutting boards. I'm going to go ahead and paint this white at first and then just go over it with that green color once again. It just kind of made things work a lot better using a white as a primer. I felt like this green was just not covering that great. So it needed multiple coats, uh, obviously, except for the crate. It only took one good coat. So once that was done, I just went ahead and added another Grinch face sticker and just embellished to my liking. I found some really tiny Santa hats from Hobby Lobby that I grabbed that I thought would be really cute to the, for this. And then I just added some greenery and that was it. So, but that is it for the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you stick around and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out Craftsy. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a full year of premium membership to Craftsy for only $1.49. Like I said, it is for new members only, but that is it, you guys. I hope you loved these Grinch DIYs and I will see you in the next one. Bye.